Hey, it's Mark coming to you from Baker's Green Acres. Still out here living the life. It's like four o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, one of the things that I do is in the winter time, ooh, I keep my jacket zipped up. I switch over to evening feeding. And here's why I do that. When it, today was a blizzard. It was not only snowing pretty good, but it was blowing. And the temperature's down, I think they said it's five, so the wind chill is, who knows, a million degrees below zero. Feels like it. I've been out in it for quite a while now. I'm just about done. You gotta feed calves right now. I'm gonna take you over and show you them. But, I wanna talk about my strategy winter feeding. Now, when it's cold and blowing and yucky outside, you look out the window and you say, I think I'll stay in bed. The only thing that gets you out of bed is something to eat, coffee, you know, that's what gets you out. Things are kind of the same way. They just soon stay in bed. If I show up out there, nine o'clock in the morning, around here the sun doesn't really come up real good until 8.30. And then if it's dark out, you know, it's not, it's nine o'clock. If I show up out there with the tractor and feed, they'll be out. They'll jump up out of their beds and they'll come and eat. And then they're kind of up for the day. And they're kind of cruising around, they're off their beds. Um, and you don't want that. You want them to stay in bed as long as possible because <clears throat> when they're up running around on a, on a cold day, they're burning energy. And that's, you don't want that. You want them to conserve as much energy as absolutely possible. So, you don't wake them up to feed them. So I'll wait until the, the afternoon. <clears throat> and um, all but two of these groups that I fed just now, and here it is, it's probably four, maybe five. Um, all but two of them were still sleeping. Now I, I haven't really monitored them closely all day. I've been working on something inside, but <clears throat> I don't think they got up. There's no reason for them to. They finished their food from yesterday morning, and uh, what is that? And uh, it was just so bad today that they just don't get up. Anyway, this is the living the life. Now these days are the days that we don't actually live for. Um, but, you know, spring is coming. I always figure once Christmas hits, it's downhill from there. These are some of my calves, and I moved them yesterday evening because uh, somebody came down to where I was and said, hey, it's supposed to be 10 below tonight. And where I keep the calves, usually it's cool in the summer, but it gets really cold in the winter. So I only have two of them now, and so I moved them up here, and from where I am right here to where they were, the temperature difference has got to be at least 10 degrees, and then it's windy over there, and that's really, really tough on them. So these guys are just babies, and they need to be bedded every every couple of days because they are they'll just go in their in their bedding, and I want to make sure that they're dry every night. And what happens with them is they can't talk to you, so they just get cold and then they don't want to get up and if they go a day without getting up i don't know you got to bring them in the house i think but uh we've lost too many of them to that all right can't even shut this off with my gloves it's so 